Hello friends and happy Monday. So this morning I had a meeting with my supervisor. I came in just before nine, had my breakfast prepared for the meeting and we basically just went over my thesis plan and he is happy with what I want to write for my thesis, which is great news. He also helped me to organize some of the chapters that I wasn't too sure about. So one of the chapters, which is really, really long, we've actually split into two separate chapters now, which makes life so much easier for me. Um, after that meeting, I was feeling really inspired to write. So I've actually been writing one of my chapters which is kind of already written up because I wrote about the content of that chapter for my 21 month assessment so that's making life very easy for me I just have to make some changes here and there to the content because there's just some things that I don't like how they're written and I feel like they could be explained better so I'm just adapting that then I had lunch and then we've just had a lab cleanup so we've all been helping out to clean up the lab we do this once a month and now in five minutes I have a meeting with a radio station in Aberdeen because they would like to interview me so we're just going to have like an introductory meeting they'll find out a little bit about me and I'll find out a little bit about them and then after the meeting I might try and do a little bit more writing and then the day is over all in all it's been a very productive day I've been feeling motivated I want to try and get this chapter done like as soon as possible and then I'll feel you know like a good sense of accomplishment that I've actually managed to finish a chapter of my thesis anyway I'm going to go and prepare for this meeting and I'll probably chat to you guys tomorrow. As you can see, I'm in the library today. I've forgotten my mouse, which I'm really annoyed about. Well done, Jessica. <laughs> Hi, guys. This week is mission repeat experiments for research paper. <laughs> I've been very stressed. I have to repeat some experiments for the paper because of a mistake that I have made, essentially. So I have been kind of beating myself up over this. I don't want to go into too much detail about it, but I am annoyed at myself for this stupid mistake. And so now I have to repeat experiments for the paper, which cuts into all of my other plans of writing. But it is what it is. I need to get it done. That's that. So I've just collected some seawater for the bioassay and I need to go and prepare media, I need to go and prepare agar plates and I just need to be focused and get it done. It's a very frustrating situation but it is what it is. I just need to deal with it, move on. So I have mixed everything for making the liquid media and the liquid media? That's wrong, liquid agar. And then I need to autoclave it and then I can pour the plates in the afternoon. Turns out I didn't need to make any of my other media because I actually have quite a few falcon tubes of the media that I need for the cultures. So that's all good. I can save the seawater sea water for preparing the samples. Okay, step one and two almost finished. Little update, I've been preparing the samples today. I have poured my plates so I can make my, my bacteria streaks. I don't even know what you call it, bacterial plates. Oh, my brain. So they are just cooling just now. I think I might wait a little bit longer because there's still quite a lot of condensation, so they're still quite hot. So for now, I'm going to go back up to the lab and continue preparing the samples for the experiments. Plates are prepped. I'm going to put these in the cold room. These are going to go in the incubator. It is quarter to six. I filtered some seawater also, so that's already done for tomorrow. So I can just tick off something for tomorrow's to-do list before it's even tomorrow. And then I'm going to go home. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, that's everything in the autoclave ready to go for the bioassay tomorrow. Goodbye. Hello, friends. Uh, it is Thursday. I think I'd mentioned that this week I'm doing some extra experiments to basically fix the paper, uh, to get our paper published. Have to have it all done by next Tuesday because that's when the manuscript is due. So I am very, very busy in the lab and that's why I've not really taken too many clips. I am now going to label about 50 falcon tubes <laughs> so they're ready to prepare the samples this afternoon. I also need to, oh, I need to take the bacterial plates out of the incubator. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot to do this. This should be fine. Yeah, they are all good. Hallelujah. I was trying to do a better job with my streaking technique. Still not great, but it's fine, does the job. 
just checking my samples in the freeze dryer. They look like they're almost ready, but I'm gonna leave them in there just now while I'm preparing the tubes. Also have another vial in the nitrogen dryer, which is drying also. So they should be ready in the afternoon to prepare the samples for tomorrow. So excuse the noise of the shaker, but I have labeled all of my tubes now. There has been a lot and now I'm gonna transfer my solvent into all the tubes so they're ready for me to transfer from the stocks into the first concentration and then do the dilutions after that. I hope that makes sense. Honestly, I'm tired and my brain is quite frazzled. The autoclave has almost finished its cycle. So with the autoclave, it heats up to 121 degrees, which is, oh, they are doing building work. Sorry about that. 121 degrees for 10 minutes, because that's the temperature that's required to kill bacteria and to kill fungi, so to sterilize everything. Now it just needs to cool down. And once it's below 48, 48 degrees or 50 degrees, I can open it and retrieve my stuff. So I just wasted so much time being confused because if you look at this tube, right? it focuses. I'm supposed to put 2 ml in here, but it's only showing 1.5 ml. Okay, you see that? But when I was taking the volume up, this pipette tip, if you could see it, will it focus? Will it focus? Will it focus? So now you can see it. This pipette tip actually shows you the volume that you've taken up. And every time I was taking up the volume, it was at 2. But then when I was putting it in here, it was coming as 1.5. And then I realized if I compare another falcon tube with this one, turns out that this falcon tube on the left, which was the one that was causing me problems, they've not put the measurements on correctly. Because you can see on the right hand side, the two is lower and they're actually at the same level, even though the left one is showing 1.5. Anyway, that caused me a lot of stress. Why have you done this to me, falcon? I just wasted so much time trying to figure out what was going wrong. <laughs> Hello guys, happy Friday. <sighs> what a week it has been. I am full of anxious energy, but it's fine. I'm going to check the cultures that I grew overnight because I need to plate up the bioassay. This morning, before I plate up the bioassay, I have two samples left to prepare. All of the rest of the samples are already prepared. All of the dilutions, there's like 50 samples. It's gonna be a busy morning. <laughs> I just wanna speak about something very quickly because I really need to check the cultures, but I'm having this problem lately of thinking about the future and thinking about future results and worrying that they're not going to be good before I've even received the results. I'm having like this internal battle in my head where I get these thoughts saying, oh, what if the results are bad? Or what if the results aren't the same as previously? And one thing that I just want to share with you, which I'm trying to do is when you have these thoughts and when you're thinking about future projects, future results, tell yourself what is the point in worrying about that now when you don't know what the outcome is going to be? Why get yourself all worked up? Why get all stressed? and then the results end up being perfectly fine. Does that make sense? Basically, there's no point thinking about the future and thinking about negative stuff in the future if you don't know that that's going to actually happen. Think about what's happening now, focus on the work that you're doing today, and then in the future, if the results turn out to be bad or they turn out to not be as what you expected, then you can deal with it in that moment in time. But that's not always going to be the case. The results aren't always going to be bad. So why stress about it now when you might be stressing out for no reason at all? That's what I'm trying to tell myself it's easier said than done but every time I have like this negative thought about my results pop up into my head I try and push it away and I try and correct it by telling myself exactly what I'm telling you now okay let's go and check the cultures fingers crossed they've grown so far everything is going to plan which is good but yeah like I say I'm a mess this week it's fine everything's gonna be fine it's okay help. <laughs> For example, last night I was stressing, well, what if my cultures don't grow, then I'll have to postpone the experiment and then things are going to take longer and then we're not going to manage to do it by the deadline. And look, what was the point in worrying? Because the cultures are perfectly turbid and they're absolutely fine. Oh, hallelujah. Right, they can rest. Let's go and prepare the samples. That's everything I need in the clean bench sterilizing under the UV. And here's all my samples. Pray for me, it's gonna be, it's gonna be intense. Hello guys, it's Jessica from the future here. I realize I did not round off the vlog because as you can see, 
I was a hot mess and I was very, very stressed at the end of that week, plating up the bioassay and trying to get everything finished before resubmitting the manuscript on Tuesday. I managed to get everything done. I got the data on the Sunday. I analysed all the data on the Sunday also. I had a meeting with my supervisor on the Monday just to confirm a few things. I then rewrote certain parts of the manuscript on Tuesday because we had to add in the data from the new experiments and then I resubmitted the manuscript on Tuesday. So we are still waiting to hear what reviewer 3 has to say about the manuscript. Reviewers 1 and 2 have endorsed it for publication which means that they are happy for it to be published. However, we're still waiting for the comment from reviewer 3 so please cross your fingers. I just want to thank you all again so much for watching. I do appreciate every single comment, every single like, every single subscription. And yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!